Alright, well, uh, because for some reason I decided that I want to try and make a freaking instruction set, um, for like a, cause like, there aren't any good, like, easily workable 16-bit architectures out there, at least that you can buy on like Mauser or DigiKey, I mainly look at Mauser, um, I decided to make my own freaky, well, I'm trying to make my own, uh, 16-bit instruction set, and now I'm going to go through all of the freaking, um, this is off-center. Anyways, I'm, I'm just going to go through all the op codes. This is going to be weird, because first, in, first op code is no operation, and I guess, you know, that's that, just, you know, no operation, just, you know, computer go for like a second or so, a couple clock cycles. And then there's freaking 12, wait, no, not 12, 14 different move opcodes. We're going to go through them one by one. So, opcode, so the f first opcode for, like, so basically, this isn't all in hexadecimal, but 01 is move an immediate into a register. 02 is move a value at an absolute memory address into a register. 03 is move an, a zero bank memory address value into a register. And then zero bank, zero page into register, then port a port address into a register, and then a program counter relative into a register, and then stack counter or stack pointer relative into a register, and then register to register, and then register to absolute address, register to zero bank address, register to zero page address, register to port address, register to uh, frick, um register to program counter re relative then move from register to stack pointer relative yeah and then after that there's just a pop like pop off the stack put it in the register and then there's pop off the stack and put it in the flags register then there's a bunch of push instructions for push register to stack push immediate to stack push absolute value at absolute address to the stack push like value from zero bank address to the stack and then same for zero page and then same for port address and then push flags register to the stack and then there's in, there's two for integer add one where it's adding register to register and then storing the result in the one of the registers I'm still have to figure out which one it is actually I know what it is it's the second one and then add and then there's one where it's immediate and register, and then the same for subtract and multiply and divide, and then there's and or XOR, and then there's one for not, and then there's halt and catch fire, which basically just crashes the computer and you have to restart it. So, you know, if you're making a crash routine, you know, use that at the end of it. And then there's, uh, and then there's, uh, and then there's two instructions where it's basically, you know, like the freaking, like, Bitwise um, Harlem Shake, I think it's called. Like, slide to the left. Or it's more like shift to the left than shift, shift to the right. And then do a barrel roll left and right. <laughs> and then there's set flag, clear flag, based on a bit mask. And then there's compare, assuming it's integers. With both register to register. And then with register and register. And immediate and register. And then there's branch equal for absolute and uh, counter relative, pro program counter relative. It's the same for all the freaking branch and jump instructions. So after that, there's not there's branch if not equal, then just jump, just do it. <laughs> don't actually don't actually do it. This is just for computers. Um, <laughs> and then there's branch if less than signed, and then there's branch if less than unsigned. And this branch, if greater than signed, branch greater than unsigned, 
than branch less or equal signed, branch less or equal unsigned, than branch greater or equal signed, branch greater or equal unsigned, branch if this flag is set, branch if this flag is clear, call subroutine at absolute address, return from subroutine, uh, break, do, which is basically a software maskable interrupt, or maskable software, software interrupt, return from interrupt, and then population count, which takes a, takes a value from a register, counts all of the set bits, and then stores the count in another register, and then there's v count or vacant, which counts all, which is basically the same as pop count, except it counts the cleared or zero bits. And that's all I've got. Of course, the actual freaking, um, the actual thing is a bit, looks like it's a bit bigger because I have reserve space in here for if I ever decide to add floating point. I'm not doing that because I don't even know how to freaking do all the, all the rest of this crap. I don't know FPGAs. If anybody can give me some ideas of like what to learn, what kind of FPGA would be good for this kind of crap. Yeah, it just can't. But it was good. Thanks for asking. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's just this is just kind of all of them. And then, this, this is all the registers, and here's what the first one is going to be going to be like. And here's the goal, and then down under here, I have the interrupt vector locations as well as the bank, as well as a byte that tells the bank that the stack is in. Because I want that to be, you know, it's just to, it's just to, you know, round out the last sixteen, you know bytes of the, you know, memory map. Because first, th last three bytes are reset vector, then the next three bytes are abort vector, then the next three bytes are non-maskable hardware interrupt, then the next three bytes are maskable hardware interrupt, next three bytes maskable software interrupt, and then one last byte left, and that's used to, to say what bank the stack takes. Because it because the stack can take up a whole bank. And that was freaking tiring for some reason. <sighs> why does speaking take so much energy? Like, why? Why? Yeah, that's just kind of everything. That's just kind of everything. Um, and also there's there's the CPU block, which takes into account everything that I just described. Then there's a video processor block. There's an audio processor block. <sighs> I'm tired for some reason. I'm just gonna stop. I am just gonna stop. My brain is tired. You have an awesome day. Do whatever the hell you want. Goodbye. Have an awesome day. Peace.